There are new allegations that sexual misconduct continued at Fox News Channel years after the revelations that led to the departure of CEO Roger Ailes. Former White House correspondent and anchor Ed Henry is among those mentioned in the new complaint. He was fired three weeks ago shortly after the new claims against him first surfaced. The lawsuit also accuses current on-air personalities, including Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity, of sexual harassment. The network says those claims are false, patently frivolous, and utterly devoid of any merit. First on CBS This Morning, national correspondent Jerika Duncan spoke to the two women making the allegations, including one who says Ed Henry raped her. Jerika, good morning. What did these women tell you? Good morning. You know, Tony, they said they feel relieved, but yet still scared. I spoke to Jennifer Eckhart and Kathy Aru, who described a workplace where they say abuse was routine and even expected. A warning to our viewers, some of the allegations you're about to hear you may find very disturbing. After we met and we had our photo taken together, he messaged me, wow, you are way more beautiful in person. Jennifer Eckhart and, uh, says her connection to then Fox News correspondent Ed Henry began in 2014 when she was a production assistant. As a 24-year-old girl, when the, the chief White House correspondent follows you on Twitter, you, you, you know, you get stars in your eyes. And you but think, Eckhart oh, goodness, says those stars like, quickly I'm faded. In a lawsuit filed Monday, she accuses Henry of violently raping her in 2017 while she was helpless and restrained in metal handcuffs and says Henry performed sadistic acts on her that left her injured, bruised, and battered with bloody wrists. Would you characterize the relationship you were in with Ed Henry as mainly abusive? Absolutely. Without question, I felt that he had the power to derail me, to destroy me, to ruin my career. And I just, I didn't have a voice until now. Eckhart alleges Henry asked her to be his sex slave and threatened punishment and retaliation if she didn't comply. In response to those claims, an attorney for Ed Henry said the evidence in this case will demonstrate that Ms. Eckhart initiated and completely encouraged a consensual relationship. Was there ever a time at Fox that you felt safe? I think it's safe to say that I was paralyzed by fear when I was working there. I don't know how you could cult continue to cultivate and foster an environment that rewards sexual predators um, consistently, year after year. I don't want anyone else to feel that way. Either. Kathy Aru, a co-plaintiff in the lawsuit, says she hopes that speaking out will create change at the network. She alleges she was sexually harassed by at least four men there. I kind of got numb to it. I thought it was perfectly fine to receive pornographic um, images and gifts. I thought that was uh, normal for a male anchor to do to send pornographic story. images yeah just to send was... you pornographic images yeah yep yeah. aru claims she was targeted by some of the network's biggest stars she says tucker carlson featured her on his show less after she refused his sexual advances she also alleges that sean hannity completely unsolicited threw 100 dollars on his anchor desk demanding that someone take her out on a date for drinks Attorney Michael Williman represents both women. And, and what, what's most troubling about this lawsuit is that it's occurring in 2020. It's not occurring in the Ailes regime. When former Fox and Friends host Gretchen Carlson won her historic sexual harassment lawsuit against Fox News and then CEO Roger Ailes in 2016, some believe the workplace conditions would improve. A Not a rule. Uh, some of the men complained that there were so many meetings that they had to go to on how to speak to women and how not to sexually uh, harass. Fox News says it concluded a ruse allegations were baseless after an independent investigation, responding in part by saying we take all claims of harassment, misconduct and retaliation seriously. The lawsuit also alleges that Fox News higher ups were made aware that other women had filed complaints about sexual misconduct regarding Ed Henry, but the network says there were no claims about sexual misconduct on Ed Henry uh, as early as 2017, other than the claims that Eckhart recently made. Now, Jennifer Eckhart tells us she was fired from Fox News this past June. Tony? Some eye-opening interviews there. Jerika, thank you very much.